Welcome to DYKTV, do you know these before channel which is produced by Nisi Alamo. This is the channel in which we search and reveal wonderful and surprising fact. Our work is on lesser known historical facts, obscure geographical wonders, uncommon cultural traditions, almost forgotten scientific discoveries, and rarely discussed fun facts. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button, so you will never miss our new work every time. The world is brimming with intriguing stories, and today, we invite you to join us in our presentation of five fun facts. 1. Honey never spoils. 2. Cleopatra is not Egyptian. 3. Sipping straw has one hole. 4. Humans and bananas share 50% DNA. And 5. The Eiffel Tower is growing. Get ready to enrich your knowledge, challenge your assumptions, and fuel your curiosity. Let's dive into these five rare fun facts and explore the hidden wonders that often escape the limelight. Number 1. Honey Never Spoils, Ancient Preservation of Nature's Sweetness. In the annals of culinary history, few substances have held such a remarkable reputation for longevity as honey. From the grand feasts of ancient civilizations to the kitchen cupboards of modern households, honey's ability to resist the ravages of time has intrigued and amazed. Ancient records and archaeological findings reveal that honey was not merely a delicious treat but also an essential preservative, shedding light on the remarkable qualities of this natural sweetener. In ancient times, humans recognized the unique properties of honey. The practice of using honey as a natural preservative is rooted in its chemical composition. Honey has a low moisture content and a high concentration of natural sugars, which create an inhospitable environment for many bacteria and microorganisms. When bees convert nectar into honey, enzymes break down the sugars, producing gluconic acid and hydrogen peroxide, both of which possess antibacterial properties. The preservation prowess of honey was notably exploited by ancient civilizations. From the Egyptians to the Greeks and Romans, honey was employed not only to sweeten foods but also to extend the shelf life of various perishables. Historical records recount its use in embalming practices, where honey was applied to wounds to prevent infection. Additionally, the thick consistency of honey prevented the entry of air, further contributing to its preservative effects. Archaeological discoveries have provided tangible evidence of honey's enduring nature. Jars of honey found in ancient Egyptian tombs, such as those dating back over 3,000 years, remain edible to this day. The absence of moisture and the presence of naturally occurring antibacterial agents have helped honey stand the test of time. The recognition of honey's preservative properties has not waned over the centuries. Today, while refrigeration and modern preservation methods have supplanted ancient practices, the allure of honey's long-lasting sweetness continues to captivate. From its historical applications to its role in modern cuisine, honey's ability to defy decay serves as a testament to the harmonious relationship between nature's offerings and human ingenuity. Number 2. Cleopatra was Greek, not Egyptian, the multifaceted identity of a queen. The name Cleopatra conjures images of ancient Egypt, an enigmatic queen, and a story steeped in intrigue and romance. However, one of the most fascinating aspects of Cleopatra's legacy lies in her heritage, a heritage that defies simplistic categorization. Contrary to popular belief, Cleopatra was not ethnically Egyptian, she hailed from a Greek dynasty that ruled Egypt for centuries, leaving behind a complex legacy that highlights the interplay of cultures and identities in the ancient world. Cleopatra belonged to the Ptolemaic dynasty, a line of rulers descended from Ptolemy I, one of Alexander the Great's generals. This lineage established itself in Egypt after Alexander's conquest, adopting Egyptian customs and blending them with Greek traditions. Despite their position as rulers of Egypt, the Ptolemies retained their Greek language, customs, and even intermarried within their own family to preserve their bloodline. Cleopatra, born in 69 BCE, was part of this dynasty that straddled two worlds. She was fluent in Greek and educated in the classical traditions of literature, philosophy, and rhetoric. Her connection to her Greek heritage was deeply ingrained, shaping her worldview and interactions on the political stage. While she did learn the Egyptian language and participated in religious ceremonies, her identity remained closely tied to her Greek lineage. The intermingling of Greek and Egyptian influences was not unique to Cleopatra's lineage. The cultural crossroads that was ancient Egypt saw the amalgamation of various cultures, including Persian, Greek, and Roman. 
This diversity contributed to the rich tapestry of Egyptian society, marked by a dynamic exchange of ideas, customs, and practices. Cleopatra's story serves as a microcosm of the complexities of identity in the ancient world. Her dual heritage, Greek by lineage, Egyptian by rule, underscores the intricate web of cultural interactions and the fluidity of identity in an era defined by conquest and collaboration. Her legacy challenges us to reconsider simplistic narratives and to recognize the nuanced tapestry of identities that shape the course of history. Number 3. A straw has one hole, unraveling the paradox of a cylinder. The humble drinking straw, a ubiquitous accessory found in cafes and restaurants worldwide, harbors a surprising secret, it possesses only one hole, despite appearances suggesting otherwise. This seemingly perplexing statement emerges from the world of mathematics and topology, offering a playful reminder that our perceptions can sometimes be at odds with logical reasoning. The notion that a straw has only one hole may initially baffle the mind. After all, it appears to have an entry point and an exit point, much like a tunnel. However, this apparent duality can be reconciled through the principles of topology, a branch of mathematics that studies the properties of geometric shapes that remain unchanged under continuous deformations. In topological terms, a straw can be conceptualized as a cylinder, a surface with only one boundary. When we visualize a straw as a cylindrical tube, we realize that the entry and exit points are not distinct holes but rather parts of the same continuous surface. If we were to deform the cylinder into a flat surface, the idea of two separate holes would disappear. Topology often challenges our intuitive notions of space and geometry. For example, a coffee cup and a donut share the same topological property, they both have one hole. In this light, the concept of a straw having only one hole aligns with the principles of topological equivalence. This playful paradox serves as a reminder that our perception of the world is often influenced by visual cues, and the abstract realm of mathematics can offer fresh insights that challenge our preconceptions. So, the next time you take a sip through a straw, you can ponder the mathematical marvel of a single, continuous whole that defies the confines of our everyday perception. Number 4. The Eiffel Tower can grow taller, responding to temperature's influence. The iconic Eiffel Tower, standing as a symbol of Paris and an engineering marvel, possesses a unique characteristic that many might find surprising, it can actually grow taller under certain conditions. This phenomenon, rooted in the principles of physics, showcases the tower's responsiveness to changes in temperature and provides a fascinating glimpse into the interplay between materials, temperature, and structural integrity. The Eiffel Tower, constructed in 1889 as the centerpiece of the Paris World's Fair, stands at an imposing height of 324 meters, 1,063 feet. Its iron framework was designed by engineer Gustav Eiffel, who employed innovative techniques of the time to create a structure that balanced aesthetics and function. This framework, consisting of interconnected iron beams, was assembled using rivets that allowed for expansion and contraction. The tower's ability to grow taller stems from the expansion of its iron components in response to temperature changes. When temperatures rise, the iron beams expand, causing the entire structure to stretch slightly in height. Conversely, during cooler temperatures, the iron contracts, causing a reduction in height. The extent of this expansion and contraction is relatively small, measured in centimeters, but it is a tangible demonstration of the principles of thermal expansion. This phenomenon has been leveraged to estimate the tower's height variation throughout the year. The Eiffel Tower can vary in height by as much as 6 inches, 15 centimeters, between winter and summer due to temperature fluctuations. Such a minute change is imperceptible to the human eye but serves as a testament to the tower's responsiveness to its environment. The Eiffel Tower's dynamic interaction with temperature exemplifies the complex relationship between engineering, physics, and the environment. It also underscores the need for careful consideration of material properties and structural integrity in architectural and engineering endeavors. So, while the Eiffel Tower's growth might not be readily apparent to the casual observer, its sensitivity to temperature showcases the intricate dance between form, function, and the forces that shape our world. Number 5. Humans and bananas share 50% DNA, 
a curious twist of evolution. In the grand tapestry of life on Earth, the relationships between species often carry surprising revelations. One such revelation is the genetic similarity between humans and a seemingly unrelated fruit, the banana. The notion that humans and bananas share approximately 50% of their DNA highlights the intricate and unexpected connections that emerge through the process of evolution. While the idea of humans sharing DNA with other living organisms might evoke images of close relatives like chimpanzees, the genetic link with bananas might appear counterintuitive. However, this shared genetic material sheds light on the fundamental mechanisms that govern life on Earth. The concept of DNA, the blueprint of life, serves as a common language through which organisms express traits and characteristics. The genetic similarity between humans and bananas underscores the universal nature of DNA as a code that underlies the diversity of life. This similarity is not an indication of a recent common ancestor between the two species but rather a reflection of the basic biochemical components that all life shares. As organisms evolve and adapt to their environments, certain genetic elements remain conserved over time. Bananas, like humans, possess genes responsible for crucial cellular functions such as growth, development, and response to environmental cues. These shared genes provide insights into the core processes that sustain life across a wide spectrum of organisms. The connection between humans and bananas, while seemingly quirky, serves as a reminder of the interconnectedness of life and the fascinating tapestry of evolution. It reinforces the notion that the diversity of species on Earth emerges from a common genetic foundation, highlighting the remarkable unity that exists amidst the biological diversity that surrounds us. So, the next time you enjoy a banana, you can marvel at the intricate genetic threads that bind us to the natural world. I hope these extended explanations provide you with the depth and detail you were looking for. If you have any more questions or topics you'd like to explore, feel free to ask. Thank you for joining us on this adventure. Exploring these rarely discussed fun facts has been a captivating journey into the hidden wonders of our world. From the eternal life of honey to Cleopatra's ingenious secrets, these insights remind us of the astonishing diversity of knowledge waiting to be uncovered. Your engagement fuels this voyage of discovery. Please like, share, and join the conversation to keep the curiosity alive. Click on the notification icon to stay informed when new content is posted on the list of fun facts of DYKTB Do You Know These Before channel. Until next time, keep seeking knowledge and embracing the joy of discovery. So long. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and learned something new, please consider giving it a thumbs up by liking it. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell, so you never miss out on our latest uploads. Also, sharing this video with your friends and family helps support our channel and allows more people to discover our content. We appreciate your support and look forward to bringing you more exciting and informative videos in the future. Thank you, and see you in the next one.